Welcome back all. Today in this video we are going to discuss about how to track the changes of a field values in Odo as we are dealing with a multi-user access system. So the same record can be accessed by different users. So it's important to track the changes of a important fields in Odo. So if I go to the sales menu you can see uh, I will take an existing quotation from here I will just create a new quotation here and sh show you a sample of what we are, we are going to do. I will just create a new quotation. So uh, just a sample quotation is created here. So let's see suppose if this quotation is created by this user Mitchell admin the same quotation can be accessed by an, another user in the system and he might can just put some extra data or he might change the customer name etc. So suppose if you need to track the changes of this field you can see if I change uh, this customer to some another value right now it's Asus interior I will change it to deco addict so once it is changed you can see it will get recorded here in the chapter section you can see your company Mitchell admin has changed the value of customer from Asus interior to deco addict like this it will get tracked here so let's see how we can do the same in our module also so we are dealing with the module hospital dot hospital management system here already we have created a model for patient that is hospital dot patient let's see how we can track the changes of the age field here for that what you have to do is that in the python you have to define like this track along with the field definition you have to add this attribute track visibility equal to always I'll just add this attribute that is track underscore visibility equal to always. Now I will restart the service and I will upgrade the module. I'll go to the apps menu and I will upgrade the module. Okay, the module is getting upgraded now. So once after the upgrading is completed, we can see the changes. So we have added the track visibility for the field age. So we will go to the hospital menu and I will open the record Ajay and right now it has value of 45 and now I will change it to uh, let it be I will update it to 34 and once you save it you can see here in the shatter section your company Mitchell admin that is currently logged in user has changed the age from 45 to 34 so if I log out this user that is Mitchell admin is logging out and I will log in the system as demo user with his credentials so if I go to the hospital menu again and open the corresponding record that is Ajay, you can see yeah Mitchell, Ad, Mitchell admin has changed the age to 45 age to 34 from 45 and he is changing it back to updating it 34 is wrong the original value is 48 I'll click on save button then you can see the demo, mark demo updated the age from 34 to 48 like this we can track the changes done for the field node. For that what you have to add is just add track visibility equal to always along with the field definition. So I will do the same for here, same here for uh, the patient name also. I will copy this and put it here. Track visibility equal to always. Now I will restart the service and I will upgrade the module. So from here we cannot upgrade the module. There is no permission for the current logged in user. So I will log out this user. And I will log in back as the admin. So it's logging out. Okay, fine. And I will log in as admin. And I will go to the apps menu. And I will upgrade the module. Okay, the module is getting upgraded. So we have added track visibility for the field name also. So we will go to the hospital menu and let's see change the name Ajay to. Ajay Matthew. Now you can see in the shatter section, I'll click the save button. Now you can see in the shatter section, it is recorded as name is changed to Ajay Matthew from Ajay. Now, if I will change the both at a time, Ajay Matthew SP and age is 52, and I will save it. So once I save it, you can see Mitchell admin changed the age to 52 from 48 and name is changed to Ajit Matthew SP from Ajit Matthew. So this is how you can track the changes of a field in Odoo. You have to just add track visibility equal to always for the field. Also you have to define the, uh, uh, to see the changes you have to define this chapter section. So in our earlier video, we have shown you how to add this chapter section below your form view. So if you have any queries regarding this, you can comment it out. We will reply you as soon as possible. 
if you like our videos you can like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates regarding auto development thank you